Hello friends, good morning. Currently we are in Lucerne and today we are going to take you to Mount Rigi. We are currently in Lucent train station. The ferry terminal of Lucent is situated across the street in front of the train station. And now we are going to take the steamboat named Uri, which is going towards Flulen. Now we have boarded the boat and we are all set to go to Mount Rigi. Yesterday we visited Mount Titlis and if you have not seen that video then the link is in the description box. Please go and check out. Guys, in my background you can see the famous chapel bridge and now we will go to Witznau by this boat. And from there we will take the cogwheel train to Rigi Kom. So let's go. So guys, our boat is now leaving the Lucent Ferry Terminal. From here, you can get boat to major tourist places of Lake Lucen area. Guys, <laughs> there are three ways to go to Mount Rigi from Lucen. In the first route, you can take the boat from Lucen to Witznau and then take the cogwheel train to Rigi Kum. Total cost of this route is 75 Swiss francs for second class. And total travel time is between 1 hour 45 minutes to 2 hours. This route is very popular among visitors. You don't have to book any reservation in advance. You can hop on to any boat which is going towards with now. We are currently going via this route. In the second route, you can take the boat from Lucent to Vegis and then take the cable car to Rigi Kaltbad. Then you have to take the cogwheel train to Rigi Kom. Total cost of this route is 67 Swiss franc for second class and total time travel is 2 hours. We will cover this route in reverse while coming back from Rigi to Lucen. And in the third route, you take the train from Lucen train station to Arth Guldau and then change to Cogwheel train to Rigi Kum. Total cost of this route is 58 Swiss franc and total travel time is 1 hour and 30 minutes. We recommend you to go via route 1 and come back via route 2. If you have Swiss travel pass or tel pass then all three routes are free and you don't have to spend any extra money. Now let me give you the tour of this boat. This steam paddle boat Uri is named after one of the canton of Switzerland. It was commenced in 1901 and it is the oldest steamer boat in Switzerland. Even after 120 years of service, it is going strong. It has the capacity to carry 800 passengers and depending on the time of the day, you can enjoy the breakfast or lunch in any of the two restaurants. Now we have reached the intermediate stop baggage. If you are doing route 2, which I explained earlier, then you can get down here and then take the cable car to Rigi Kalbad. But we will continue in the same boat to bits now. So after a few minutes we have finally reached bits now. Uh, now we have to get down here. And 
just in front of the ferry terminal you will see the base station for Cogwheel Railway. This railway was opened in 1871 and has celebrated the 150th anniversary in 2021. And we have to show our Swiss travel pass here before getting into the train. Now we have boarded the train and it will take us to Rigikom which is at height of 1752 meters. And this is the Rigi Kalbad station. We will cover this area while going back to Lucerne. There are a lot of hiking trails in this area. And this is the another train stop, Rigi Steffel. And the train coming from Art Goldau, which is on the third route, also joins here to go to the top. In the new coaches, you can go in the front to have the good view of the track. Now the entire line is electrified, but on some special occasion, you can get the chance to ride on the 100-year-old steam engine train, which has the open carriages. We got the chance to ride in one of those last year on Swiss National Day. So guys, now we have reached Rigi Kum station and this was our train. Now we have to walk little uphill to reach the summit. There is a restaurant where you can have nice meal with beautiful panoramic view. So we are at the top of Rigi. From the top you can get the wide panoramic view of central Switzerland. You can see Lucerne, Mount Pilatus, Stenserhorn and on a clear day you can also see Jungfrau and Titlis as well from here. And on the other side you can see the Lake Zug and Zurich as well. So here is a communication tower and in this you can go up to first level so let's go and see how is the view from there so few more meters height does not make any difference on the view today it's a beautiful sunny day and the weather is very clear last year when we visited here weather was foggy and we could not see anything so please check the view on the webcam in the website rigi.ch before coming here. After spending some time at the top, we decided to go back. This old style wooden wagon is attached to the train when the weather is good. However, this train was going to Arth Goldau. So we got down and took the train which is going to Wits now. These are modern coaches which has a big seat in the front and back from where you can enjoy the views through large windows. Now we are going to take the route 2 to go back which I explained earlier in the video as well. Hence we will get down from this train at Rigi Kalbad station. Rigi Kalbad is a resort and famous for its mineral bath and spa. You can enjoy the mineral bath while overlooking the mountains of Lake Lucerne area.
you have to go down from here to take the cable car to Veggies. And this is the entrance of spa and we have to go further down to the cable car station. And this cable car is included in our Swiss travel pass so we just have to show our pass at the entrance. Oh my god, it's so deep. <laughs> this cable car covers 1000 meters of vertical distance in just 10 minutes and provides a great view of Lake Lucerne. We have to walk for about 15 minutes to reach the ferry terminal of Veggies. Path from cable car station to ferry terminal is well marked and goes through the beautiful town of Veggies. We did not have to wait long for the ship and now we are going to Lucerne. And this ship also has a small restaurant. So guys, we are about to reach Lucerne. We started our journey around 11 am in the morning and it is almost 4 o'clock in the evening. So it took us around 5 hours for this tour. That's it for this video. If you find the video helpful then do like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for the upcoming videos in this series. Thank you for your time and wish you happy and safe travel.